Hi guys, welcome to Guru Beauty. I'm Jodi and I have some more haulage to share with you guys. It's been a while, I think. This time it's from Strawberry Net, uh, primarily, which shows up in a nice white box all the way from Hong Kong. The fantastic thing about Strawberry Net is that you can get sort of makeup counter products, which normally you are being asked, at least in Australia, to pay an absolute arm and a leg for, and you can get them at, uh, you know, reasonable or at least sort of around American retail, recommended retail prices. So you can't beat that. My experiences with Strawberry Net have uh, always been very positive over the last, uh, say, year and a half. Another bonus is that they do do worldwide shipping, which is free. So you cannot beat that. Um, so I'm going to get right into it. The first item that I purchased was thanks to Christine at Pink So Foxy here on YouTube, and it's a Chanel lip liner. The Chanel lip liner that I got is in the color beige. This is it here. And what I love about the Chanel lip liner is something that I love about an Inglot lip liner that I posted about recently. It comes with a lip brush. And I have been applying most of my lipsticks lately with a lip brush just to put them on just in a bit of a thinner layer so that lip glosses go over them a lot nicer without making a big gunky mess. So uh, I really like that Chanel beige. I did swatch that a little bit earlier and that is it on my hand there. So a nice really light sort of um, brown beige color. It is what it's called really so I like that. Thank you Christine so Foxy for sharing that information. I really like that lip pencil and uh, it does also come with its own little Chanel um, lip pencil lip pencil, a uh, pencil sharpener, which would come in very handy. It, it's not a mechanical pencil there. I did also pick up a few uh, additional items of the YSL Rouge Volupt lipsticks or Rouge Volupt. I'm not sure how you say it, but I have the number one and the number two. One of the things that I don't like about these lipsticks is that they don't, I think Chanel does the same thing, but YSL don't actually name the uh, shade name on the bottom of the tube, which makes it really difficult to remember. It's a lot more difficult a lot easier to remember the name of a shade versus just a number which is my problem with Inglot but I'm getting off the course the first color I wanted to show you is in number 20 that is spicy pink it's focusing there spicy pink I have already swatched on my hand here it's just a nice sort of uh, rosy rosy color Another two additional colors that I got were uh, number four in Sweet Honey. And that number four in Sweet Honey is a lot more of a sort of um, fleshy, lighty, pinker, more of a yellowy based shade. Uh, it is a little peachier in real life versus how it's coming up on the monitor, but I really like that sweet honey color. And then the third color I got is in number 24, Praline Delights. And I really like this shade as well. This is sort of um, another neutral, new, neutral, surprise, surprise for me. <laughs> Praline Delights, and you'll see that there. It's coming up really grey on the camera, but it's not. It's definitely a pinky tone with uh, purpley, purpley sort of undertones, just not as, not um, as rosy as the first one that I swiped there. It's not quite as browny grey as it's coming up on the monitor. Don't you hate it when you've done a manual white balance and your colours still aren't coming out true to life? Anyway, enough about that. I will also show you a few eyeliners that I got recently. So I've gotten a lot of eyeliners recently, a lot of liquid, gel, pencils. I'm going to do a whole big comparison of them um, sometime. <laughs> but to add to my eyeliner collection, I got a few different of the cake liner varieties. And that is a hole in my makeup collection, I will say. So this is actually thanks to Lisa Lisa D1, who often raves about her Chanel Laline um, cake eyeliner. So it's Laline de Chanel, if that's how you say it. The colors I got are in Noir La May, and it's a matte black and then a shimmery sort of dark black as well as how it comes out. So um, we'll just hold the pencils in there. That's how they come out there. So a matte black and more of a shimmery kind of color. It does come with a little brush. So whether you want a thick application or a thin application, you can see there the two brushes that it comes with. And the cute thing about that is they actually join up. You just stick them together. So you've got a longer brush for application. So what you do with the Chanel cake liner is you basically dip the brush in water. You could use Fix Plus or any other kind of mixing medium if you really wanted to. Dip it in water, 
and then you mix it into your cake eyeliner until you've got a bit of a paste um, and as you work with it over the days you get a feeling for you know how thick you like it how long it takes how much water you may need to dab off the brush anyway uh, this sh so it, it, it's a really nice versatile product in that you can decide how dark you want it how light you want it you might want it a bit more watery for a sheer application or you might be doing you know some kind of wash that you're going to blend over your eyelid or something like that so i'm really excited just to play with that a little bit more and give it a go and what i want to compare that with is my laura mercier cake eyeliners so i got a couple of those i got them two of those in mahogany brown and black ebony and Laura Mercier, I don't know if it's come out in Australia yet, but it's pretty new in America too, from what I believe. She's come out with a tight line activator. And that is, uh, comes in a little bottle. It's a clear liquid that comes with a dropper. And basically when you use that instead of water with her cake liners and any other cake liner, it's meant to give um, a little bit more of a sort of um, slightly different finish to the liner when you apply it, but also gives it extra durability so I'm excited to see how they last like on the waterline this is what they look like I'll just hold them up for you there we go a brown and a black and we'll see how that compares with the Chanel but um, one of the things that I've read that concerns me is that once you've used the activator on the product you can't go back to using water it's one or the other so what I think I might do is use you know um, water on one and activator on another. I don't know how it works, but maybe I can keep just, you know, activator. I can just dip the product in the left hand side, and maybe when I dip my brush in water, I can dip the brush in the right hand side of the, the cake line or something like that. I don't know the science behind it, but um, that is what I have heard. So beware if you are interested in the waterline, tight line activator I should say from Laura Mercier just be careful that you can't apparently interchange between water and um, the activator so what else have I got here I got uh, one more thing from uh, strawberry net it is the Laura Mercier illuminator stick in golden honey glow and that is just sort of a nice sort of bronzy it's a twist up uh, stick much along the same lines as um, or really so many brands have that kind of um, product but you know like the multiple I was going to compare it with the NARS multiples that I have on the way that's like a bronzy a nice sort of peachy finish I think you can see hopefully it's focusing focusing there nice sort of peachy finish which will be great for the summer to give just a nice sort of glowy sheen and then I finally, through eBay I think it was, received a, another couple Bella Pierre Shimmer 9 Stack palettes. And um, I know you would have been sick of hearing me post about the Bella Stack that I got and was really happy with um, probably last month. But I did get these in Serenity and in Pandera. Um, you can get these regularly on um, Australian sales sites. I know I've mentioned it before, like on buyinvite.com.au or brandsexclusive.com.au. I have also heard folks from the States talk about finding this at TJ Maxx for 14 to 17 dollars. And um, also people have found this on Outlook. And Lisa Lisa D1 was sent the, I think the Pandera stack from a friend who got it on oh, look. So I'm not sure how much they paid for that, but you can definitely get it for less than the um, recommended retail that bellapierre.com is asking for. So just be aware of that, but they are great. It's a lovely stack of nine shimmers. Um, and I'm just going to go away and swatch those and come right back and just show you those um, nine colors from each stack. Okay, so I will start off with the Serenity palette. The Serenity palette, I'll just show you slowly, um, is full, it's much like the Bella palette in that it's full of sort of neutrals, a lot of bronzy kind of colors. And I'll show you that swatched on my arm. Again, it's nine colors. I've applied these wet with a cotton bud and I really think that that is sort of the strength of these colors is being applied wet. Um, yeah, I think I've got a good shot there of them all in frame. Um, just a beautiful selection of gorgeous sort of shimmery opaque colors really pretty on the eyelid uh, now I'm just going to go and swatch the Pandera stack that's what you've heard Lisa Lisa D1 talk about I'll be right back with the Pandera swatches 
Okay guys, so I have swatched the Pandera stack and this is much more dual tones. I'll just show you what the actual stack looks like. There you go. Much more dual tones. Oh my God though, is all I can say. These colors are absolutely amazing. So that's the Serenity stack that I swatched for you earlier. That's the Pandera there and Oh my gosh, if you can get a look at those colors. This blue is absolutely spectacular. Just gorgeous. So many beautiful colors there. I love this color too. This beautiful champagne-y color. Um, I just love these stacks. I do think, as I said, the best application is uh, applying them wet. You just get a really, really nice, vibrant finish that way. Um, and I have also found one other place that you can get them from. There is a seller on, uh, he's based in the United States, I think in California. And the only thing is, is that you'll pay about $50 for a stack. So the $50 is about half the recommended retail price. And uh, I found SFR Beauty. I think is what it's called, or yeah, SFR Beauty, uh, online on eBay. He had the Bella Pierre stacks, and I think he's got them listed for about $75 per stack of nine, or best offer. And I think I went in really low, like at $25, which um, he counter offered at 50. So um, that is another way that you can get SFR, um, or the Bella Pierre Shimmer 9 stacks um, through SFR products I think is what it's called um, if you're interested let me know I can or I can just put um, a link to that website down below I will just say that as far as coming to Australia at least through the eBay site it did take quite a while I think it was down to the wire like one or two days before my um, option to file a dispute with PayPal um, expired the products came they were great communicators though I did ask them for you know tracking or um, status or if they could follow up and they did communicate back right away so that's always really good as far as an eBay seller goes but they do also have their own website that they'll sell out of as well and I think it's free shipping within the USA for that as well so um, I hope that you enjoyed my haul there I've got some great new Chanel and YSL that I'm looking forward to really giving a, a nice try to hopefully you'll see some of those come up in some upcoming favorites videos and uh, I hope you guys have a beautiful day please don't feel shy about commenting I love to hear from you guys. We'll see you again really soon. Bye.